Brother Moses, Sister Charlene. All right, we're going to show you what the truth is according to the Bible, and then we're going to deal with Islam. All right? Go ahead, Rick. The book of Psalms, chapter 119, verse 142. Bring it up. That righteousness is an everlasting righteousness. All right, so the Bible, so God says his righteousness is everlasting. It means forever. Read on. And thy law is the truth. And what is the truth? And thy law is the truth. What is the truth? And thy law is the truth. So, Brother Moses, according to this scripture, what is the truth? The laws. God's commandments is the truth. Right. Now, now, let's get John 8, 32. Let's, let's get, let's touch on the truth. All right, so that's good. All praise to the most high. You're trying to get more understanding on what the truth is. All right, because obviously our people, we don't have it. What? How do we know that? Because of the signs that's around us. Right. We in the ghetto. Right. Ain't no truth out here. Right? The only thing that's out here is, is drugs and, and gangs. Right. right? And, and deceit. And these fake Christian churches over here. And false religions. Right. right? So good. Keep getting more truth. Let's read more on that. John chapter 8 and verse 32. Bring it out. And ye shall know the truth. So this is Christ speaking. Christ said, and ye... He's talking to a people specific. He's talking to the Israelites. He's talking to you and our people. God says, what? and ye shall know the truth. And the truth is what? One more time. It's the law. Ye shall understand the law. Wait. And the truth shall make you free. And the truth and the law is what's going to make you free. What? So guess what? We're in captivity today. Right. That's why we're in the ghettos. Right. right? Because we are not understanding the truth, which is the, the law. We're not keeping the law. We're not keeping God's commandments. Right. Our people, we're in Islam. We're in uh, Christianity. Give me a uh, door around me first. 15. Then we are going to uh, get into, uh, uh, what's that? 64? Six, uh, wooden stone? Go ahead, Ron. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28 and verse 15. But it shall come to pass that thou will not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God. So God is saying to the Israelites, it shall come to pass if thou will not hearken unto my commandments, right? My laws, the truth according to the Bible, right? To observe, to do all his commandments. All his what? All his commandments uh -huh. and his statutes, which I command in this day. And all these curses. All these what? All these curses. God says, if you do not keep my commandments, if you don't keep my laws, my laws, my laws, all these curses, right, shall come upon thee and overtake thee. They are going to overtake you and the nation. Right? right? So the nation of the so-called blacks and Hispanics, which are the Israelites according to the Bible, right. because that's who we really are. All right, so all these different religions, like Christianity, like Islam, Islam does not come from our people. Right. Let's see where uh, Islam starts. Let, let's let's get a uh, Joel first before we uh, hit that uh, the curse. Right. Where where does Islam come from? I'll give you a hint. Christianity it came from the so-called white man. Where does Islam come from? What people? We don't. The Arabs. Right. So why does it, when it comes to the so-called black man, we have to take on the religion of these other nations? What? Right. Why? Why is it always us? Why? Why don't they celebrate our doctrine? Right. Why don't they keep our statutes and commandments? It's because God is letting you know you are Israelite. You're supposed to be keeping my laws, but because your nation does not do that, I'm gonna jack y'all up. Right. God says, I'm going to let all these bad things happen to you. Let's get one bad thing right here. Joel chapter 3 and verse 3. Bring it out. And they have cast lots for my people. And they, meaning the other the other nations, have cast lots for, for my people. Right? They put in bids for my people. Read on. And have given a boy for an harlot. Uh -huh. And sold a girl for one. They sold our people. They sold our women. Right for 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 why? What? Right, what 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 happens in the scenario of women in alcohol? Sex. What? Right. So they did these things to our people for breeding. What? For breeding what? More slaves. Right on. That they might drink. Yay! And what have you to do with me, O Tyree and Zidon? And what have you to do with me, O Tyree and Zidon? Right. Two Hamite nations of the the, the other people. Right? They have nothing to do with us. Right? Right. And all the coasts of Palestine. Of who? Of Palestine. And all the coasts of the Arab man. Right? The Palestinians. All of them. 
God saying, what have ye to do with me, right? Will ye render me a recompense? And if ye recompense me swiftly and speedily, will I return your recompense upon your own head? So God says, I'm going to pay back everything you did to my people for what you did to them. Because guess what? Our people, we know the, the slavery right, and the oppression from the so-called white man because it's in our face. To, the, to this day, we're still oppressed. And then they also, they put it in the movies, right? Things like that. It's in the history books. But one thing they don't touch on is that the uh, Arab man, Ishmael, according to the Bible, they also had us in chains. Right. And guess what? What comes with oppression? What comes with it? Slavery, all that. But their what? Their, their customs. Right. Their traditions and their religions. All right, so the religion of the Arab man is what? It's, well, it is a custom, but it's Islam. It's, it's being a Muslim. That has nothing to do with us. That's not our truth. Well, you know, that's their truth. That's, that's really their deceit because ain't no truth. It's, there's no truth in Islam. Exactly. But by we're not, you know, standing up together as one. Right. We're just falling by the wayside. We're just going to each of these dogs. That's dog it. That's it. Okay. Yes, sir. So by us. Right. But us standing up together does mean coming back to the Bible. You do understand that, right? Okay, all praise to the Most High. Because uh, you said something about Christianity. That's that's definitely not us. Agree? Good, good, good. So what does God require us to, to do when we gather together with each other? Okay, how do we do that? How do we do that? Like, what? what give me that in uh, the Deuteronomy 10. You got it? Man, you're in the spirit. Watch this. This Because you are, in fact, Israelites. That is your race. You know why you don't know that? Hold that real quick, Jeremiah 17 and 4. This is why you don't know it, right? Because, like the brother was going into, every race of people on this planet had us in change. Every race of people had us in change, including the so-called Arabs. Matter of fact, over there in Saudi Arabia, Arabia, Mauritania, Libya, and many Arab countries, guess what we are? Slaves. Right now and today. And guess, and guess what God we serve? Allah. Just like over here in America, we were slaves here, and what God we serve? Precious white, blue-eyed, blue blonde-haired Jesus. Even though the Bible don't say nothing like that, right? Read. Jeremiah chapter 17 and verse 4. And thou, even thou son, shall discontinue from thy inheritance. So this is talking about the Israelites. He said you would discontinue from your heritage. What race of people do we say that we are today? African-American, African -American, but that was in 1985. So before, I, before 1985, we went African-Americans. What else? Colored people, what else? Black, what else? Niggas. All, how, how is it that we got so many different races? But, but, but the Bible says, read it again. And go, even that self. And guess what? If I ask 15 of us which a race, they all would say some remnant of that. Two. I'm black. I'm African American. We're the same race of people, but none of us know what's our actual race. What? None of us know, right? Read it again. Shall discontinue from thy inheritance. You would discontinue from your heritage, meaning what your race is, what land you come from, who you descend from, what customs do you keep. All of those things you would forget and stop from those. You come back up, yes. Read. Then I gave thee Read. and all caused thee to serve thine enemies uh -huh. and the land which thou knowest not. In the land which you know not. And guess what? In those lands you would learn their customs. You would serve your enemies. Jeremiah, I mean, uh, Jeremiah 2 and 3. Just to harp on that Islam thing, right? Because I, I, I get it why people like to flock to Islam. Because you know what Islam has that Christianity doesn't? Discipline. You know why our people flock to that? Because black people desire discipline. We not fooled. We know our people ain't got no discipline. What? Can you tell black women anything today? You know what? She, I, you answer. I like you. You are. You, you're a man. Sis is like, I don't want to ask that question. Sis, can you ask or tell black women to do anything today? Oh, okay. I got you. I got you. So you can't tell them anything. Because they're going to come back with a response. They're going to be upset. Right. Mm, I, I don't agree with that. You know why I don't agree with that, sis? I, I, I agree with that. I agree with that. You are in order when we are in order. But I, I disagree with it matters 
how or who says it. Because Monique told sisters in a very nice way, stop wearing bonnets. It doesn't look good. And they cussed her the hell out. And she called them little babies and princesses. And they cussed Monique out. And she told them, stop doing that. It's not professional. It doesn't look good, right? So I, I hear you. I, and you're right. When we get in order, y'all will get in order. But not all of y'all. Right? Not all of y'all. Some of y'all are not going to get in order, sis. Well, the Bible doesn't say all. Right, 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 right. So all praises, right? Read. Jeremiah chapter 2 and verse 3. Israel was holiness unto the Lord and the first fruits of his increase. It's 3 and 2. That's what I want. Jeremiah 3 and 2. My apologies. Read. Jeremiah chapter 3 and verse 2. Lift up thine eyes unto the high places. The high places when you read the Bible are places of worship. That's what it's talking about. Lift up thine eyes to the high places, the places of worship, talking to the Israelites. Read. And see where thou has not been lying with. And see where you have not been polluted with. That word lion means you were polluted by something in these high places of worship. Where were you polluted? Who polluted you? Let's get some more understanding. Come on. And the ways has thou set for them. And the what ways? And the ways has thou set for them. As the Arabians. Who? As the Arabians. Who? As the Arabian in the wilderness. We learn Islam with the Arabians in the wilderness. During what time? The Trans-Saharan slave trade, or, or what they call it, the uh, the, uh, the, the Sub-Saharan slave trade, the Arab slave trade in uh, Central Africa. All that was us that they were selling, and guess what they were making it serve? Islam, and Islam is a very new religion in Earth. Right. As a matter of fact, Islam was learned. Many of the things in Islam come from the Bible. Right. Like they wear, they women wearing hijabs. Right. Why are they wearing that? Give me that in, in First Corinthians eleven. Well, now why is Islam having their women cover their head up wearing a hijab? Because <laughs> Muhammad, when he frequented the Jews, learned that. Guess what the Jews had their women do? And this Bible coming out, like my sister has, they head is covered. That is a custom of the Jews that a, that a man named Muhammad stole from them and created his religion in 622 BC. 622. Oh, right AD, AD, right? 622 AD, when he created that religion, right? Read. Start verse 1. First Corinthians chapter 11 and verse 5. But every woman that prayeth or prophesieth, meaning when she's praying, when she reading his Bible, read, with her head uncovered, if she has her head uncovered, Dishonor of her head. You know who her head is? Her man. So if she got her head uncovered, she dishonors her her husband. Right. That's what Islam got from the Jews. Right. Women cover their head up. So guess what Muslims do with their women? Cover your head up. They wear hijab. That religion is very new on earth, and it's not ours. It's Islam's religion. Right. But we like it because for two reasons. It has discipline, by far more discipline than the people representing the Bible. Because they don't have no discipline. They say, come as you are. They say, God know my heart. Meanwhile, I can sleep around with all the little women in the neighborhood. I can sell drugs. I can, you know, not take care of my babies. As long as I come to church and say, I love Jesus. Man, I love you some Jesus. And you know, Jesus know my heart. I'm a good Christian. But I don't got to do nothing the Bible says. So at least Muslims do what their book says. Right? That's why we flock to it. And then also the 60s, the 60s, with Malcolm X and the Nation of Islam. We saw that and we was like, surely this is the black man's religion. But it's not. It's the Arab man's religion. Right. We just showed you in Jeremiah 3 and 2 where we learned it. We learned it in slavery. That's why when, when the brother read to you, give me that in Deuteronomy 20, uh, 15 and uh, 64 again. That's why one of those curses for the Israelites, the people who God gave the covenant, would be this. Read. Right? Deuteronomy chapter 28 and verse 64. And the Lord shall scatter thee among all people uh -huh. from the one end of the earth even unto the other. Uh -huh. And there thou shalt serve other gods which neither thou nor thy fathers have known. Our people didn't know about Islam until 622. We didn't know about it. We didn't know about Muhammad. We didn't know about uh, Allah. We didn't know about none of that stuff. As a matter of fact, prior to Muhammad in 622, they had a, a God for every day of the week. Allah was the supreme God. Look. So they had multiple gods that they served until Allah said, hey, hey, these Jew people, they got one God. We're going to do that. And we're going to monetize. We're going to capitalize. And we're going to take over the world with this thing. That's what they did. I'm a, I got you, sis. Read. Even wood. Even wood. That's your cross in the Christianity. Read. And stone. And what? And stone. And your cobblestone over there in Mecca. The Bible prophesied that the two greatest religions on the earth in a lot of days would be uh, one where you worship 
uh, a, a piece of a plank of wood called the cross. Jeez. And one way you would worship a big old block of stone over there in Mecca. Right. And those are the two most quote unquote holiest religions on the planet. God said you would learn that by being scattered in your enemy's land. That's what will happen to you. Right. That's the Bible, it's Bible prophecy. That's how we know this book is the truth. Because God said that Jeremiah 46 and uh, is it Isaiah or Jeremiah? Isaiah 46 and 10. This is how we know this is the truth. Because the Bible, God, only God can say something and it happened exactly as he said. Read. Isaiah chapter 46 and verse 10. Declaring the end from the beginning. God said that back during the time of Moses. He said, I'm going to scatter you all over the earth and I'm going to have you serve Christianity and I'm going to have you serve Islam. Those are going to be the top two guys on the planet. And he said that back during the time of Moses. And guess where we just came out? Slavery. Right. We just got out of slavery. And Moses said, you don't do what I tell you to do. You're going to go back into slavery. And you're going to serve these dumb idols that they tell you to serve. You understand? So that's how we know that this is the truth. Because we're not teaching it like in, in passes. We're not telling you, come as you are. We're telling you, change. Right. That beard on your face is a very godly thing. They right. don't teach that in Christianity. They don't teach that. That head covering is a very godly thing according to God. We teach people to do that. So you are doing things that are very godly, whether you knew it or not. Nation is men leading by example. 